And it's devastation like this in the Bahamas is exactly what people on Florida's east coast fear the most from Dorian. In St. Augustine, residents were told to plan for a worst case scenario. You may remember in 2016, Hurricane Matthew followed a similar path up the east coast, flooding America's oldest city. ABC Action News reporter Michael Paluska is live there tonight where people are taking this storm seriously. Michael? Jameson, you know, most of the coast here is expecting a four to seven foot storm surge, but here in St. Augustine, that means a lot more. The Matanzas River here that we're standing next to flooded during Hurricane Matthew, and as Dennis was just mentioning, that caused a lot of problems here. We have some file video. We covered that story when it happened here. Matthew from October of 2016 came through this area, flooding streets and businesses. They were underwater, especially here near the area of Castillo de San Marcos. Shelters in St. John's County are opening, and officials are telling us they anticipate what happened during Hurricane Matthew could happen again, of course, depending on the track. Businesses here are boarded up with sandbags in front of their doors. We expect tropical storm force winds, but really the rising water for residents here is the biggest concern. And of course, a lot of people are crossing over, coming here to see the historic tourist sites. The bridges, we're told, will start closing around 40 to 45 miles per hour. That is when they will close those down and they will not reopen until after the storm passes through. That is a judgment call that officials say they will start to make as the conditions either start to ramp up or they start to slow down. So people are wondering what will happen. We've seen a ton of tourists around here. One guy walked by and he asked why we were here. We said we're in a hurricane warning. He said what hurricane? So tourists, some of them at least, clearly have no idea what's going on. We'll keep you updated as this track progresses and we'll be here in St. Augustine to report through it. We're live here in St. John's County. Michael Paluska, ABC Action News.